Hey guys, it's Kevin Kreider. <laughs> More than just muscle. Uh, this is a little bit off topic of what I'm normally used to, but I want to talk to you and share this little experience that I had because there's a big thing going around with demasculizing Asian American males and then there's an over sexualization of Asian females going on in an industry, the whitewashing. What I have to take on that is, yes, I did feel like there was a long time where I was being demasculized. I know there's things that are being better, but at the same time, it's like it's still not out there. Men aren't talking about this. Asian men aren't talking about this because I feel like a lot of them say, oh, it's okay. Slowly change is happening. Well, guess what? Okay's not good enough. Like, really? Okay? That's it? How about awesome? We're on this world to thrive, to be great in life, not to just be okay. And a lot of times people aren't, aren't confident enough to speak up, especially Asian men, because we have to keep our head down, right? And just go along the path and be humble. Don't be an asshole, but at the same time, speak up. Notice this is a subject that needs to be spoken about. We don't talk about it enough. So these stereotypes that go around in the industry, in the entertainment industry, are really washing people out to make us believe that we're not sexy, that we're not good looking, that all we have to do is be good at math and science and make money as a business person and things will be all right. But at the same time, we're losing, uh, we're losing a lot of stuff uh, in the industry. <sighs> Fuck, I hate what, I hate this autofocus. It really pisses me off. I don't know if it's pissing you guys off. So I wanted to share this video that I did with Jeremy Lin and he, it was a Q&A right after the Sixers game and his take on his breaking stereotypes, right? Because he broke the stereotypes for Asian American males. Did you ever come across the stereotype of Asian guys not being attractive? And if you have, <laughs> how do you think we can break that in the American culture especially? Um, you're talking about Asian, Asian, Asian American males? males? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think that's a really interesting question because Asian American masculinity is one of the issues that I feel like should be talked about way more, and I feel like it's very behind the eight ball. Um, so yeah, I think to go on your point of being athletic, like I was the fastest, like me and John Wall were the fastest people in the draft, but he was athletic and I was deceptively athletic, you know, and I think like, <laughs> I've been deceptively whatever my whole life. Um, and I think that like, while he jumps deceptively high or he's deceptively quick, I feel like that's definitely, you know, an issue that, you know, we can just keep playing basketball. Hopefully we can just keep being good and keep breaking the stereotypes. And the same thing with like being like a male. I feel like a lot of times we had a lot of Asian girls go for like non-Asian guys, but you didn't see a lot of the opposite, right? Like real talk, you didn't see a lot of non-Asian girls going for Asian guys. So it's just like when they said yellow fever growing up, it wasn't like all these white girls were going for Asian guys. It was the Asian girls going for white guys. So. I feel like there's definitely like uh, it's definitely different, right? Like I think Asian American males are are viewed differently, but um, I think we just need to keep being ourselves, man. I think that the world will come around and appreciate um, us Asians, like Asian men, women, like Asians in general. I think I think the time will come, but kill them with kindness for the time being. You got no problem now, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. <laughs>